Let's take a look in top plan. Let's look at our site model. And what I want you to pay attention to is that there's two different line colors here. And it might be a little difficult to see, but these lines right here, these dashed lines, they represent the existing site model, whereas the blue lines represent the proposed site model. So let's come over here and change those fields. So for the 2D display, let's go ahead and look at existing only. And you can see that only those green lines remain. And it's a fairly even grade that we drew. If I come over here and I change that to proposed only, then I can see how all of my site modifiers have changed that site. We commonly leave this set to both proposed and existing, but I wanted you to know the difference between the two different line types that you're looking at when you're in top plan view. I noted earlier that the order in which you add your site modifiers is important, and so I just want to go over that one more time and be a little bit more thorough, although we'll continue talking about this in subsequent lessons as we learn about the other modifiers. So the first modifiers that you want to add to your file are existing modifiers for things that cannot be changed. Next up, we have hardscapes with known elevations, and that's what we've been working on today. The last thing that you're going to add are going to be hardscapes with either unknown elevations or anything that has a vertical surface to it. And so those are modifiers that we'll learn in subsequent lessons. The other thing that we need to discuss is that there are certain rules about which modifiers can cross each other and which modifiers can touch. So let's talk a little bit about pads. So pads, if they're at the same elevation, they should be touching. So if you look at the way that we handled the hardscape here for the driveway, these two hardscapes, they touch. And those hardscapes have a slab modifier assigned to them. So that's perfect because the elevation right here at the top, so remember it's three feet on the lower edge of the hardscape that I have selected in orange. And then here at the bottom, it's three feet in height at the top edge. So that elevation is the same and therefore they should be touching. Also, pads should always be inside of the site model boundary. So you'd never want to have your site model coming off here to the side. Modifiers can be placed inside of one another. We don't currently have an example of that in our file, but that is one of the rules. And then things that you should avoid are modifiers that cross or leaving unnecessary gaps. So over here on the driveway, we wouldn't want to leave a gap in between these two modifiers. We want them to touch. 